Welcome back to the channel everyone. This video is all about the classification of antiprotozoal drugs and mechanism of action, adverse effects, contraindications and drug interaction with also the uses of metronidazole. So without any further delay, let's start today's intro and start our today's topic. Hello, Namaste, Ola Priviyat viewers. Welcome to my channel Med Gossip SD. I am Subhas. The main objective of this channel is we bring basic medical and clinical science topics, explanation with the related diagrams much as possible, and frequently asked exam oriented questions of that related topic. So make sure you hit that red button of subscription and the bell icon so that you could never miss the updates. Now, let's classify antiprotozoal drugs. Antiprotozoal drugs are mainly classified into two types. They are tissue amoebicides and luminal amoebicides. Now, let's classify tissue amoebicides first. The tissue amoebicides are further classified into two types. They are nitroimidazole and alkaloids. The drugs in nitroimidazole are metronidazole, tinidazole, secnidazole, ornidazole and saturnidazole whereas the drugs in alkaloids are emitin and dihydroimitin sorry dehydroimitin now let's classify luminal amoebicides luminal amoebicides are further subtypes into three types they are amide beta hydroxyquinolines and antibiotics the drugs in amides are dilozanide furoate and Neta zozanide. The drugs in beta hydroxyquinolines are quinidochlor and hydroxyquin, whereas the drugs in antibiotics is tetracycline. So let's discuss about the drug which is commonly used nowadays. This drug falls under nitroimidazole. The drug is metronidazole. Please note that even if I have mentioned about the metronidazole. The other drugs which fall under this nitroimidazole family also has similar uses, contraindication, adverse effect and mechanisms. So let's talk about metronidazole. Metronidazole is a prototype nitroimidazole. Metri metronidazole doesn't affect aerobic bacteria. And metronidazole is selectively toxic to anaerobic microorganisms. Now, Let's talk about mechanism of action of metronidazole. After entering the cell by diffusion, the, its nitro group is reduced by certain redox proteins, which is operative only in anaerobes, which leads to reduced to highly reactive nitro radical, which results in exerts cytotoxicity by damaging DNA or DNA helix stabilization and strand breaking. Uh, note. Nitro radical of metronidazole causes disruption of energy metabolism of a aerobes. So let's talk about adverse effect. The adverse effect of this drug is number one, anorexia, nausea, metallic state, abdominal cramps. The less frequent adverse effect are headache, glossitis, dry mouth and rash. The prolonged administration of drug may lead to peripheral neuropathy and seizures. Number four, the adverse effect is thrombophlebitis of injected vein if solution is not well diluted. So now let's discuss about uses of these drugs. The uses are amoebiasis, giardiasis, trichomonas vaginalis, anaerobic bacterial infections, pseudomembrane enterocolitis, ulcerative gingivitis, H. pylori gastritis or peptic ulcer and guinea worm infection or infestation. Now time to review contraindication and interaction of this drug. First let's talk about contraindications. The contraindications of this drug are neurological disease, blood dyscariasis, first trimester of pregnancy and chronic alcoholism. The drug interactions, let's discuss it. It is disulfiram like intolerance to alcohol, enzyme inducers like 
phenobarbitol rifampin may reduce its therapeutic effect. Number three point we have simetidine reduce metronidazole metabolism. Dose may need to be decreased. Now let's discuss about the last content of this topic. The questions are number one classify antiprotozole drugs. Number two write down any four drugs used for treatment of amoebiasis. Number three questions we have write down the short notes on metronidazole of the following points that is mechanism of action, adverse effect or adverse drug reactions, contraindications, drug interactions and uses. So thank you for making me a part of your day. Like the video if you did, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and press the bell icon so that you could get notified. Next video will be of complete description of bronchial asthma. Till then signing off, Med Gossip SD. Bye bye.